I think I've done this maybe one or two times before, but we are here in my main closet. I have this closet and then I have one over there near where I film my style videos and then I have the upstairs and I'm actually going to, you know, I was thinking, what did I want to do with that room over the garage? That's what I'm going to do is make it a closet and I can still film in there. Guys, I'm overwhelmed and, you know, as closets go, when you watch closet declutters, mine is not like a lot of people's. I would never just let it get to that point, but there are a lot of things in here that I purchased and never wore. And that is part of this job. And it's part of who I am because a lot of times I will order something and think I want to try this style. I want to try this vibe, especially when I was watching last year when I was watching a lot of capsule wardrobe. But what I took away from that is really good. So it's a lot of trial and error. A lot of these things may be the wrong size and they may not be av available anymore. And so I hate to wear things that no one can get unless I can find something that's very, very similar or unless it's like an investment piece or something that I just feel like I cannot replace. So I have, I'm gonna try to do this the best that I can. I've got a step stool that I keep in here to get up on my shelves and I will do a kind of a pan around the closet so you can see what we're working with. But my first little section here is shirts and bodysuits and my white shirts. And you know, of course things have gotten mixed up. So last time I did this, I decided I was going to put all of my jeans hanging up. That just didn't work for me. I even had them in alphabetical order. I didn't enjoy doing that. I think if I wasn't doing YouTube and I had like the normal amount of jeans, maybe it would be okay. But I think what I want to do is build some shelves upstairs and have them sorted by, I think I want to sort them by brand, I think, or by fit. I'm not sure. It'll be, like I said, it'll be another trial and error type thing. And um, so over here, I've got my robes and some other things. My shelves aren't full, but they still need to be gone through. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let me take the camera off of the tripod right now and kind of give you a little spin. Okay, so here we go where I was just standing. And let me give you a view of the floor first because see what happened is I thought I was gonna be clever and go through a lot of stuff before I went out of town and then I got really busy and it's still sitting here. This actually is some jeans that I still want, but they're just piled here. That is a pile of clothes that I want to either take to the resale or I have found a thrift shop that they give their proceeds to the Domestic Violence Center. So that is fabulous with me. So that's where I've been taking a lot of things. And then here are white blouses and different blouses. Here are my bodysuits and some more blouses. Black t-shirts, white t-shirts and tank tops. Uh, sweatshirts over there. My jeans were hanging there. Right here I have just, looks like there's some Zara vests and just miscellaneous right there. I've been getting bad about just hanging stuff wherever. And then up under here in these shelves, I have been just stacking my, I got these little dividers, which really help. I will link everything I can down below, but those dividers, wow, I love them. Those are where my sweatpants go. And then under there is my uh, Honey Love, some different bodysuits like I have on today. And I'm just not wearing the nude one and the white one and everything like I thought I would. So I will be donating a lot of those too, but I love them. And then that is some more sweatpants. And then these drawers, let me move my, okay, let's just start at the bottom. That little box is, they are my socks. 
just like barefoot dream socks or sleepy socks. And every once in a while, I throw my shoes in there <laughs> if the vacuum cleaner is on or if the cleaning girls are coming. So in this basket, I have, let's pull it out, bathing suits and I have like the Gap t-shirt dresses. I wear these when we go to the pool and then that way I can go from straight from the pool to go get lunch or go do something. So I've, I've enjoyed those, but those are bathing suits. And then this drawer is um, bras and like body suits, you know, camisoles, things like that. And I do need to go through that. Okay, this drawer, I also have these drawer dividers. So that's night night full undies, these are, I've got a pair of my old skinny britches from Spanx in there. This whole thing, these are like cheekies and I'm kind of a all or nothing kind of girl. So I kind of like these. These are my favorite. The, um, not Commando, but On Gossamer. They are my favorite full bikini. And then you guys know my favorite thong is just the skims. So that's there. And this is my jammy drawer. Got my Avery pajamas in there. And then this drawer is some jewelry. I probably need to go through that, but like a lot of that stuff is Jenny Bird. I think it's a Jenny Bird tray. And this is not really my main jewelry tray. Okay, this is crazy miscellaneous. Some body sprays. Picture of Bridgie back there. Let me focus, yeah. And just some basically body sprays, perfumes, random things, a candle. Same thing up here. I ended up not liking that candle right there, so I need to get rid of it. A hook that I want John to hang in my closet. Some of the boy smell candles. Um, those are just like silky scarves back there and some boxes of jewelry kind of like chanel some designer boxes i don't think the actual jewelry is in there but i will find out and then i really do like this whole concept of putting my sweaters up there and getting those dividers so i feel like that's pretty you know pretty much well done and over here are my scarves up there like a cashmere scarf the Dupa Momwata or whatever scarf. And I think that is some more sweaters. And then my watches are in that tray. And then I put some of my tall vases and then that's an old jewelry container. Some more vases. Um, these are my BK Beauty brushes. And the reason they're up there is I put all of my brushes away and I'm just using my new brushes so I can tell you about each collection. So, I do love those, but I'm just trying to use just certain collections right now so I can report back. Okay, this is a miscellaneous shelf. Um, when I was doing all of my planting and everything, my mom got me those rocks and then I got that moss to put on top. And I just hate to give it away or do anything because I might use it. And then those are random boxes for sunglasses I probably need to do something with. Those are some candles. And then that is just a kind of like a travel basket that I use if I go out of town and I'm not flying. I like that because I can work right out of it. And then that, those both are caboodles that I take when I travel. Okay, this is the robe section. I love robes, <laughs> I do. And I, I really appreciate them all for different reasons. But I think the Barefoot Dreams robe can probably go because I prefer the Ugg. And I love my, you know, the, what, what are these called with the banded sleeves? To me, they're just irreplaceable, a great gift. And let's see what else is in here. Okay, that is a poncho. So, see? Okay, Barefoot Dreams, um, what is this? Is this a Barefoot Dreams robe? Yeah, I think it is. And then that's my jacket that I wear all the time, every day, my North Face jacket. That's my like go-to run out of the house jacket. 
And then this has been my latest favorite robe, which is Ugg. And then, oh, my Free People sweater, which to me is kind of like something I can wear around the house. It's a, a blazer sweater. And then, oh gosh, see, I've got a lot of stuff mixed in. And then that is a robe that I never wore. It still has the tags on it, but I love it. So I'm going to keep it. A lot of times I would stick stuff here, like this gap dress that I was wearing a lot. When I have things on repeat, a lot of times I'll just stick them real close. But that's a lot of the Susie Condi and the Norma Kamali. And then, so we'll go through the rest. That's the long hanging. Um, this is just a valet hook that I, you know, will just throw something on just <laughs> out, either out of laziness or because I want to plain old see it. Like if it's something I really like looking at or if it's something I want to feature soon or, you know, if I'm packing, different things like that. Okay, this little section, these are my trousers. And one of the big mistakes I made with trousers is ordering my true size. It took me a few pair to realize I want a size up so that they have a better drape and hang. So I know some of those are going to go. A lot of them are from either Zara or Aritzia, maybe. And then that is just a, a good old um, belt hook and the dreaded floor, more jeans, more jeans. Let's see, just some miscellaneous. Oh, I've been looking for these. Okay, I've been looking for these. These are my little short Uggs. I was so scared I gave those away because they're hard to get your foot into them, but I think they break in. So that makes me feel good. This is a bucket that I've had since I was a little girl. It says Lisa's junk. And I used to always keep my socks in there. I'm serious. I've probably had that since I was 10 years old. And my regular go-to chestnut Uggs, another vase. This is a bag of Bath & Body Works body sprays that I had full intentions of doing a video and maybe telling my favorites but my perfume videos didn't get the response i was hoping they would and i'm not going to make videos that most people don't want to watch so i will probably give those as gifts or maybe even take them to the thrift store and hopefully since they're brand new they will give them to the ladies in that facility and then you know I, here are my these were one of my favorite summer shoes, the Steve Madden wedges. Looks like they're in here. And more jeans. And then my Zara shoes. Didn't know they were in here. Um, this is a little basket that one of my subscribers sent to me that I use for a lot of things. And then back here is just some more junk, like an empty divider, maybe some belts, a jewelry case. And then this is that little poof that I had upstairs and I put it in here so that thinking I could just put like one thing on it if I needed to and here it goes stacked up with junk. So and then just to tell you what I'm looking at that is where the camera is going to be and then over there is John's closet which is the same size and he has that whole side over here and that's literally all of his clothes including half of it that he doesn't wear because most of the days he wears jeans and a t-shirt. So I have kind of put some stuff, if I need to hang long hang things, I will put them over there, but even that needs to be gone through. And then when you come out of this door, that's when you'll see over there where I film and I have that closet over there, which has shoes and blazers and faux furs and things like that. And then that is my bed and then Spin all the way around, and that is my bathroom. What do you think I should do first? The jeans, I want to, part of me wants to try them all on and do a video, but it would not, it could not be like a full talking video. It would have to either be a voiceover or something like that. Let me know if you would be interested in that. This, these are the Soothees. Right when these got popular, I ordered these for myself, Brooke, and my mom. Brooke likes them, and I think my mom does too, but I don't. I just, 
they're too clunky for me, but I'm gonna give these, Brooke's friend wears the same size as I do, so I'm gonna give these to her. These Uggs, I love them. I wear them every day, you know it. I don't know how many times I've told you, but so I will not get rid of these for sure. Okay, these are the, they're supposed to be leather and faux leather combined, but I'm telling you, these pants, these A Gold E that I got last year, they are like those things that you wear to lose weight, a sweat pant, like literally, like a sweat pant. So I am going to do, I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I don't know if I'm gonna give them back to Kelly because I think, I think she might have given me those. Um, this is, remember these, the um, Dylan Lex tanks. I love them. Oh my gosh, this one needs to be like defuzzed. But I just, I don't know, I'm over it. And I don't think they fit me that well. They're actually a little bit too small. So that will probably go to resale. Okay, jeans, I'm just going to keep, huh. I wonder if I've already gone through these. No, no, because these are my time and true. These are so good. Okay, no, these are in action jeans here. Put that over there. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Oh, this is something I bought. It's an extra small. I think I bought it from Banana Republic. I never wore it and I just, I don't like it. Okay, so. Let's see, that's going to resale. Another one. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like Jana from the jungle or something if I wear those one shoulders. I don't, I'm not crazy about how they look on camera either because, you know, I like a one shoulder dress better if it's like an elegant look. But, okay, Zara jeans. I know because these are in this pile that I did try them on and I don't want them anymore. Reformation jeans. Okay, you guys loved these on me, but they are so high rise. They, this kooks me out. I don't want to look this long there. <laughs> so I will probably take these to, okay, you guys remember when I was doing the whole body shape, kitty, kibby body shape, and I was really trying to wear what the books told me to wear but I learned a lesson. So it's not, all of this wasn't in vain. None of that time was in vain. When you learn something from that experience, it's don't worry about it. And, you know, just let it go. Let it go, that's part of cleaning out. And, you know, just think about the things you learned and try not to do it again. So um, I have learned that I don't want a zipper that is this long. Okay, Zara, you know, here, I'm gonna take Zara up to the, thrift store and then um okay this is a top from the line by k hmm i'm gonna keep that see it wasn't fall yet when i did this and i had a different mindset okay this is one of those dresses from h and m i did like them this one wasn't my favorite i think i liked the pink one the most i'm gonna put that in the thrift this is that outfit that i really do like i love it but for some reason it gave me a funny look right there and i just wasn't loving it and i've already worn it a bunch okay the gap dresses i've got a couple of those in here i'm gonna keep those they might be available next year or I might be able to find something similar. Um, remember this jumpsuit? Oh, this is a good jumpsuit. But I feel like I've been there, I've done that, I've worn it a few times. It's not available anymore, and I would rather just get one that everyone can get if they want it. So that's gonna go to resale. Um, this is, okay, a dress that I bought, and I do like it but it was a little too like moo mooey for me and my, how I want to feel. So we're gonna put this in the take to the Goodwill place. Um, this is another one of those H&M dresses that I like, but I've kinda been there, done that. Um, let's see, Zara jeans. 
What are these? Okay, I think these are from Pretty Little Thing. And I do like them, but should I try these on again? I don't know. I just don't like that color. I just don't like that color. Okay, I'm going to take that to the um, thrift store. Okay, now this is that, can you guys still, oh yeah, Trina Turk wrap. And I mean, I paid up for this and I like it. But that's just, this isn't me. I'm not someone who's going to be like vibing with heels to the pool most of the time. I do like those, um, those one pair of heels that are like the rock stud, that Carmen sole or something. I love those because those are like pool shoes. But I'm just, I don't go on like, you know, vacations where I want to have a sarong on. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then these are two like cover up dresses that I like, but I'm over them. I'm over them. So here's the thing. I'm going to put these in the, because my resale store is strict. Like if it isn't like on season, they won't take it. Okay. This is a pair. You can tell Chanel's been laying. As soon as I put a pile anywhere, my cats just think it's their bed. This is a pair of Everlane um, joggers or whatever. These suckers are so thick and nice. They're like too nice to be what they're supposed to be. And they didn't, they were not flattering at all. Okay. What are these doing here? These are my nineties pinch waist. A Goldie. I don't know. These probably just got covered and I for, forgot about them. That's what happens. Okay. I'm going to put these in the box. And then these are the Louboutin flip-flops. I, I do not like them compared to the Gucci. So I may list these down below to sell them if one of you guys want them because they were just too for me. These are the ultimate, ultimate designer flip-flop. And then these come next. I love these Javianas with the, they're called flat form. They just are so chic and nice. But if you want and, you know, scaled up, that's what I always say to find what you wear the most and just get the best you can, best you can. And if you're going to, like you have the itch, like I do sometimes to get something designer or something special, make sure it's something that you already wear and then you'll enjoy it. I mean, I have enjoyed these so much. Okay, since we're down here, let's go through this little section over here. Okay, these are the Wilfred, which means Aritzia. Oh, okay, they're like a little, uh, some slacks that are cropped, but they're fours, but they do have the elastic. So I'm gonna keep these and try them on and see how I feel about it later. I mean, this, you guys, this is just a beginning intro video to my closet and cleaning out. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is a mango dress and I think I was a little too much for it. I like it in theory. I love a, that whole halter look, but I'm going to take this to the thrift store. Oh my goodness. I have a lint roller in there I'll use. Okay. What are these? Okay. This is, I don't know if this happened to you guys. These are the slacks that I bought from the drop from Amazon. I can hardly get the wrinkles out of these things. I have, let me try my, I don't think I've tried since I got my Jiffy steamer, but with my handheld steamer, they were like permanently wrinkled. So I will try. Um, these are two pair of sweatpants. One's from Victoria's Secret. These, oh, I loved these. I would wear these with wedges sometimes. Where'd these come from? Champion, small. Okay, I'm going to keep these. I'm not like jonesing for extra room or anything. It's just I want to only have things in here that I really like. This has a little bench. Okay, so this is 
one of the cropped blazers, so valuable. Anything you can get, it doesn't even have to be sleeveless, that does like this, especially if you are concerned about your tummy at all, which I always am, this is so flattering. And then you can wear a full pant that comes up and cinches in, and this just gives you the best shape. So I've got this, and then this is just a man's vest. I think it's a small from H&M. Yeah, H&M, and I don't see the size. Um, USA 34R. I think that's like a small. And then I have another one from Zara that is that same shape that I love. You probably remember when I got all of these. Okay, here's something. This is that jumpsuit from Pistola Denim. I love it, but I always forget about it. So I'm gonna keep it here for now. Wait, let me put it over here, because I don't wanna get rid of it. I want to wear it again. Okay, this is another one of those shape vests. Remember what I say, find what works, double down. Get different versions of it. That way you always have something you like in your closet. So this is from Zara. And then here's another thing I love, which is the Everlane, same concept, but in a t-shirt. This is the Everlane boxy, you know, crew, T. Okay, let's go on over here. This is a t-shirt that is so popular, but I just don't care for it. It's the Everlane like whisper tee or something like that. I am going to let someone else enjoy it. Thank you for bringing me joy. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you go live another life. Remember how Marie Kondo said to do that? Okay, this, where's the other one? These, oh my gosh, I paid up for these. Luckily, I get a discount at Oliver, but these are Nanushka blouses that are just insanely luxe, beautiful, like you have never felt anything like these. And so I got the, they carry them every year. I got the nude one and the black one and I have not worn them enough. I have not even worn this one. So I will be wearing these soon. Okay, Everlane linen black shirt. I'm gonna keep it. The frame little top that I got from the sale. I loved it, I loved it. I just wore it, matter of fact, a few weeks ago. I wore it to a little outing with my parents down at the beach and it was perfect. And the first thing my mom said is she liked my blouse. So let's put that, oh, okay. This is something I do not like. I know everyone loves these, but I do not like these. I don't like my clothes sticking. And then when you pull these out, they're all sticking together. And I don't like, I would rather have more space in between my clothes. So I do understand if you have a tight space and you need to put the most you can in there, but I don't have that situation anymore. So I'm going to give these probably to Brooke. Okay, here's something from my experimental phase. I think Dearly Bethany always talks about Cezanne, Cezanne. So I ordered this blouse and I have not worn it. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know if I'm gonna feel good in this. I don't know if I should keep it and try it. I mean, I, it hasn't been a full season yet or a year since I've had it. I'm gonna just keep it in there and just see. Okay, this is Thread and Supply, big white shirt, kind of a cottony one. This is the Uniqlo white shirt. People always talk about this, but I like my Lily Silk white shirts better than this. This is just too plain, too plain for me. I can see like if you're going to work and you need something to put under a sweater, but I've got other ones I like better, okay? This is the AYR white little linen-y type shirt. Speaking of Lily Silk, this is one of my Lily Silks silky shirts. 
they're my favorite. Matter of fact, this one has makeup on the collar. I probably need to have it dry cleaned. This is a J. Crew. I mean, I'm sure it's great and I do like it, but I don't need it. And I like the other ones better. I will let someone else enjoy this. Looks like I wore it maybe one time. Okay, Power of My People shirt. I think I got this from watching Alyssa Beltempo. And I don't think I've ever worn it, but I want to. So maybe next year I will get to wear it a little bit more. Put this over here. And this is the Gap shirt that I showed you not too long ago. And the reason I like this one is because it's long. It's like a tunic. And this looks really good over dresses and things like that. So I'm going to keep it. This is one of my favorite shirts of all times. It's a Rails medium and it has all these patches and the patches are just so me it's kind of like a seashell i don't know about number five but a butterfly a cactus um, a lightning bolt flamingo um, the military stripes what is that tennis rackets oh hibiscus it just had so much on it and i have worn this a lot a lot of times before i felt good and lost weight and just i was trying to cover up and I was finding the best ways possible, I would wear this over one of those Zara, like really fitted dresses. And that way I would still have a good silhouette, but I would put this over it and then I felt better about myself when I wore this. So I'm keeping that, I love it. Another AYR shirt, but in the blue. And then another Rails denim shirt. A lot of this, like I might not, this isn't a go-to for me, but I keep a lot of stuff if, because I'll be looking at um, Pinterest or something, or you guys will ask me to do a look, and these are kind of like ingredients in the cupboard. So, oh, I need to hang this, and I do like these hangers the most. I've got the plasticky ones, and I've got the really real wood ones, but they are all shaped like this and white. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, let's, so let's start over here. These are kind of like, ooh. See, this is gonna be good, it's kind of inventory. This is that Citizens of Humanity. I love shirts like this, so definitely keeping that. Um, this is an Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit. Eh, I don't have any like warm fuzzy feelings about this. I mean, it's okay, but I'm gonna let someone else enjoy that. Okay, um, see, I, I just like Zara bodysuits the best. So this is a long sleeve Zara bodysuit. Definitely keeping it. This is, I love this too. Oh gosh, I love that. The A Gold E square neck bodysuit. Love it. This is a bodysuit from Everlane that is short sleeved. I don't know how I feel about those long sleeves. I don't think that's very flattering on me. I think I'm going to let someone else enjoy that. Here's the, um, the probably conclusion that I have with Everlane. I think that their clothes are soft, well made just everything you could want but i think most of them are too conservative for me but that t-shirt i always come back to that t-shirt i mean like this just feels so good i mean it's definitely good quality but one day i might like it more okay these are i'm gonna take them all off and put them back on these are zara bodysuits these are my favorite just the good old halter neck bodysuits I have them in all these colors and I do like the medium because the small shows side boob and I, I don't really want that. Okay, this is one I got from maybe Bloomingdale's or something, the Aqua. I think I'm over that one. I've worn that one a bunch, like a bunch. And then I love that blue. So I'm gonna just hang these back up. I learned that if I pack these away, they get wrinkles. 
So that's why I hung them up. And here's another one. I love this color. And right now I really don't have my closet separated in summer and winter because <laughs> it's basically all the same. No, I, I just would rather have them just like this. I don't know. Like, cause I can wear these underneath other things. I might change my mind one day, but I've just got, I've got room. Okay, blouses. I love blouses and I do love the way they look with denim. So like this one is Max Studio. Where did I get this? Huh, oh. It says 59% savings. I got it for $39.99. I don't know where I got this, but I love it. Wow, I love that. Okay, great. Okay, this is what I wore when I had um, my parents and family and um, a family friend over last Thanksgiving. It's rails. I love it. Perfect. This is one of my favorite Zara blouses ever. You might remember that haul. I'm going to put it on a better hanger. And I'm definitely keeping it. I love it. Matter of fact, I need to do... Zara Hall and see what other blouses they have and do another one of those because that was a good video. I thought we did good on that and we found, all found a lot of stuff that we liked because it takes hours to go through the Zara stuff. Another Zara blouse that I loved. I love this so much. I got it for Brooke too and she still got it. We love this. Okay, another frame blouse. Oh, Gorgeous. Love it. I love the way they feel. I love the way they make you feel. Okay, more Banana Republic tops. They just don't, why don't these bring a warm, fuzzy feeling to me? Are they too plain? Should I keep them and try them? They're extra smalls. Oh my God, I hope I didn't pay that much for it. You know what? Let's just, I'm going to let someone else enjoy these. And that way I can wear, I kind of learned that lesson. You remember when I bought that little blue bug, Bluebird, and I was going to have two cars. I had my um, X5 and then I had that blue car. It was, it was a great lesson for me. A great lesson in more things, more problems, because we had to shift all around all the time with the parking. And if I was driving the blue car, then the car I really loved was sitting in the garage. But if I drove that car, then I would look at that one and think, why did I even get that? So I do think you can have too much of a good thing. So I would rather give some of these things that I love 80% and wear more of the 100% things and maybe find even better things. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this, what is this? Gap, extra small. I do like this. I knew when I looked at it, I had a good feeling. I like this. I like that heathered black charcoal gray. So I'm gonna keep that one. Um, this is a thin, like mock turtleneck. Hmm. I don't know where that came from, but that might come in handy. So I'm gonna keep it. Empty hanger. Um, oh, okay, this is a mango tea. This is so cute. Okay, it's a little tea that has pretty sleeves like I like and a little ruffle right there. What color is that? Is it black or kind of an off black? Okay, I like it, but look at that hanger. I think I'm going to let someone else enjoy it. It looks, for some reason, it looks like a, a little girl, like a size 6XT style, but in a, an adult size. Okay, little lesson here. Stripes. I do like stripes for a certain look but I don't like stripes on me every day. I'm not a stripey person. I'm not that sporty. 
and I'm not, I do like that French look, but when it comes to that, I prefer the cream with the dark, I think. So I am going to part with these and I will probably let my mom go through a lot. Oh, see, here's the tag still left on. I will um, let my mom go through these. This was mango. A lot of this stuff too, guys, I thought, oh, I'm going to do a video of the best striped tops. And it just didn't happen. So that happens sometimes, but that's part of, you know, YouTube being the way it is. It's just sometimes things don't pan out or I will start like a series or videos and I just don't get a lot of interest. So I have to move on. So here we go. This. I love this line, Joa Brown is good. I mean, it's sexy, but there are still pieces that we can wear that aren't too young or revealing. And these tops, it's so soft. It's very, very Skims-like. If you like Skims, you would like this. Okay, this is another Joa Brown. Okay, I think this is the one I just got and I liked it. I wore it in a video. Okay, this is something I just got from Walmart. Um, it's the No Boundaries, and I love it. It's, you guys, it feels just like these, and I love that the neck isn't a true turtleneck, and I wanted to have it kind of like I said, kind of as an ingredient in case I ever wanted to do that. Okay, this is a little t-shirt that I got from Oliver that I really like. I like it that it's kind of like that caramel kind of 70s suede type color. So we're going to keep that. Um, this is the Big Star t-shirt that they just sent me. I love this. At first I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like this on me, but see how it's wide and kind of boxy. This is the same concept as the Everlane and maybe not as short as the Everlane, but, and I love this color, so I'm definitely keeping that. Okay, this is something that looks good in theory, but didn't look good on me. It's a little Everlane kind of cropped shirt. It was just kind of weird. It looks like something a football player would wear or something. So I'm gonna let this one, I'm gonna let someone who with a fabulous body, with fabulous abs, wear this with their low rise jeans. And I hope they love it. Okay, this is a Gap t-shirt. Oh yeah, these are nice. The Modern Tee. They're kind of like that silky black. Love those, keeping that. Okay, this is an Everlane kind of baby tee. It's kind of like the, reminds me of the Redone. Ooh, okay. I see the problem here. It's very, very see-through. That, it's not even the see-through, but when something is this tissue thin, my belly button shows through. And I, ha I mentioned that to a girl that worked in the bra department at Dillard's, and she said to wear one of those nipple cover things over your belly button. But I just am not that desperate to wear this shirt that is so sheer. So I'm gonna pass that one along to someone else with a, a perfect belly button. <laughs> This is the Redone, so good. I would say, it's the Hanes Redone. I would say they're worth it. I think they're called the Little Boy Tee. This, I really like, the Madewell. I got a white one and a black one. They're kind of cropped, but more of a boxy crop. I love that little scalloped edge. That's my favorite kind of sleeve, keeping that. This is, oh. I even have backups down here of my AYRTs in case they get discontinued. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. They're just the best. This is the round neck one. I like the V-neck one too. I gave a couple of them to my mom. Okay, Everlane cropped tee in white. So valuable. I recommend it wholeheartedly. This is, oh, this is the Chalice Noel tee. Shalice from Instagram, really love that too. Same concept with what with a V-neck. Okay, this is another AYR. So this is the different neckline, more of the V. Love it, love everything about it. Um, this is my Isabel Morant. 
I was looking for this thing. I didn't know I had put it up here with the white tees. I thought I had put it somewhere else. I've wanted this for so many years. It's such an iconic piece. It's kind of like a Louis Vuitton Speedy or, you know, and when I was, you know, in my frumpy video, which I will link up here, um, I mentioned not wearing graphic tees and things like this, but this is such a classic. This is something that looks chic because for one, it's a really, really nice t-shirt that hangs really nice. It's a lin lin linen blend. It's got velvet on it and it's iconic. It's kind of like one of those iconic pieces. Okay, this is something that I don't wear a lot, but it's an ingredient. It's this like padded shoulder sleeve shirt. If I ever want this look, I like this being here because they are kind of popular. Okay, this is the, oh gosh, this t-shirt is like famous, especially if you watch the Capsule Wardrobe Girls. It's the Uniqlo. It's their, I can't remember what tee it is, thick as you don't know what, and stretchy. So I'll try to wear this soon. I don't know if I've ever worn it. Very basic, but we'll see. Okay, this is a t-shirt that I haven't worn that I got from Saks, the girl that I that works at Chanel. I when I was going through my white t-shirt phase, I don't even know if you knew, guys knew it. It was when I was doing the capsule wardrobe thing. I asked her her favorite tee, and she said this one, ATM, and it was eighty-five dollars, which is kind of in line with like the AYR. But I love this, so I'll wear that soon, and see how it goes. Okay, Everlane, little scoopy tee. I'm just, I, those arms are just not my favorite. I don't know why. It's just an odd length. It like doesn't go to my, past my elbows, but it's not a short sleeve. So I'm going to let someone else enjoy that that likes it. Gap, little soft white tee. I'm gonna keep it. Um, this one I really like. It's the Everlane Organic Cotton Off-White, but look how daggone sheer that is. I have never even worn it. My belly button would be like talking to people through this thing. So I'm gonna let someone else enjoy that too. Okay, now we're getting to some tanks. This is that Everlane Whisper Tank. Just not my vibe, just not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna let someone else Enjoy that too. I think it would look good over a bathing suit, but I've kind of gotten where I would rather wear a dress, something easy. Okay, this I really love. It's a Michael Lauren. I love all their stuff. And it's this kind of a, it comes way up high on the neck and it's like double ply. And I like wearing stuff like this up under a blazer because you have that interest right there. So I'm gonna keep that. Bring all these hangers down here so I know that I have them. And then, oh, my Lily Silk. Um, I love this cami because it's so versatile. It's You can wear it like flowy. And I like that it's kind of a halter one rather than the spaghetti strap because I can wear a bra and I just feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like it's more versatile. I really like that sweatshirts and some sweaters over here. Okay, this is one I really like. It's And Other Stories. That is a fabulous sweatshirt. Little note, I don't typically like sweatshirts with hoods. I love the way they look. I don't like the way they feel. The secret is to size up. Size up so they won't bug you. This is a sweater I haven't worn yet from Madewell but I will, because I love the tone on tone. I love that it's the wide cropped, and I really, cashmere. I was gonna say, I really kind of got into, once I started getting a few cashmere sweaters, I was just, it was all over, because, ooh, it's just so nice, and it feels so good. I love it. Okay, these, I've got two of these. Oh, I love these, okay. This is, I have forgotten all about and other stories. That is a really cool, I think I've worn this, a really cool little cropped sweater. And here's another one from and other stories. And 
I really need to try this one. This one, I can't remember if I liked this on me or not, but I'm gonna keep it and see. Okay, this is the same as the cream one, but in black. I really like that. I really like that. I think I might end up giving this one to my mom because I think she liked it, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Okay, this, oh, I forgot about you. It's Everlane Recycled Cashmere. So good. This is the ultimate hoodie because it's cashmere, of course. And because of that, the hood just hangs flat like that. Oh, I love the sleeves. I hope they still have this. Okay, this is that Rebecca Minkoff sweatshirt that is kind of cool. Love these. I love, her sweatshirts are good to look at. Okay, this is from And Other Stories, and I like that. That's probably my favorite stripe. This with a pair of jeans and either heels of some sort or boots. I like that. Probably my favorite sweatshirt of all times, but I do wish I would have sized up. Anina Bing sweatshirts, it would not hurt for you to size up. Another Anina Bing sweatshirt that I love. I love the colors. I just, I love that. Okay, another one. I would say she is the sweatshirt queen. Okay, this is a big one. I remember loving this. This is from And Other Stories. Just a big black hoodie. So versatile, so versatile. Okay, hanger. This is another, oh, I remember. Oh, this is Adidas. This is one that I got at the Nordstrom sale and it is divine. Look at this, the bat wing sleeves, amazing. This with your, they have to be good leggings like the Honey Love, some that are thick and um, very pant-like. I don't mean pant-like, I just mean Thick, nice, supportive leggings, and this and boots, perfect. Okay, this is a sweatshirt that I love from years ago. It's A Goldie, and I don't think it's available anymore, but I love it so much. And this is, okay, you guys, I think my card, I think it's been a long time because my card just filled up. I had to delete some old stuff, but this is an Everlane sweatshirt, and I don't think I just ever got a chance to wear this last year, but here again, this, look for this shape, especially if you're like me, like I'm a thin person, but I'm still worried about my tummy. My kids kind of just blew my stomach muscles just away. That, all that to say, look for these styles that give you shape, but then your nice leggings coming out with boots, you will feel amazing. Okay, you guys, let's look at these real quick. Cashmere, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's called Naked Cashmere now. The um, Dupata um, scarf that Jennifer Aniston made so popular. And this is another really popular one. I can't remember, but it's that one that's, it's like an infinity scarf. And I kept my favorite ones. So I'm gonna put these back up here and we will start over here next time. So thank you guys so much for being with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.